the cable dude showed up. Is, is, this is your T1? That's the T1. Yeah. 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 Hook up that box there. They done that, and then you're supposed to hook it up in there, and then in a later date they're supposed to come back out and bury the cable. Okay. Got it through there now. Mm. Yes, sir. We had to find this up at the uh, hardware store. To go back on here now is it advanced oh that's right <laughs> auto parts store excuse me last night yeah. and that was a big hold up but we have it now there she be Cooking now. Plugging the switch back up under here now. This little T just the rascal back on. Tighten that up now. Try to get it back just where it come off, because that is adjustable. You can maybe can see the line still. I can. The right lubricant I'll have to uh, get later. We don't have none. And to go ahead and grease right in here. Right now we're going to be just using white lithium grease, but you're supposed to use 
Lubriplate DS-ES. And we're gonna have to come back later and put that in. Right now, this is all we got. He's fixing to put on the collar, and to do so, you're going to have to put the key back in it and uh, turn and the shift this down. All the way down. Again, yeah. <laughs> if you break this, you've had a very bad day. This collar will hit that as you're putting it back on. Now we got to line this up on the very bottom and put that screw back in there, which is also very fun. That's the next. Taking our steering wheel puller back on. Alright, time to put back on the wheel. Make sure you line it up. There's lines here and here. Once again, you can do this without this, but this is easier. Alright. Your next step, this one here just pushes in this hole. This is why you want to mark them in case you uh, have to spend a whole day hunting down a particular push nut. Fight this back on over this. All right. Get this side, make sure it's going to line up, then we'll go back and retighten it right quick. Okay. Time to uh, hook the battery back up, but it's always best to go ahead and clean these terminals. Save you some problems down the road.
blooper reel. <laughs> it just ain't fair. <laughs> you prick. <laughs> This is how I like to do it there. Perfect on the first try. All right, our new internet's on. We're going to see how fast this is going to be before we start uh, bragging about it. Well, it certainly took a while to load this page, but that probably ain't wasn't in the catch, obviously, you know, but that shouldn't matter. Fix this blinker switch. All right, Dougie, this is supposed to be T1. Well, let me T1. set up on that. Unlimited. First thing I'm going to do is uh, disconnect the battery. Okay, it was uh, this arm here on the inside. I done got it pinned down. I can't show you. But it was hanging up in the plastic just a little bit. And uh, we wouldn't get no uh, blinker servers. <laughs> so I took it out and bent it just a little bit with them little springs make it go back and forth very easily like the other side was doing. Yeah, now we have blinkers. It was pushing down and kind of sticking. Yeah, it was sticking. So you got to make sure both of them uh, push down and come up really easily. Yeah. Like they're supposed to. They way up there. And I can't see them at all on this camera. I guess I got them in there. I have that thing. I'll zoom in on them turkeys. I can't see them. Goofy birds. No, I can't see them. Where'd they go here? Oh, there they are. Now while I got all this disassembled, I'm going to take out the dash and replace some light bulbs. And this is how you take the knob off. Now for the windshield wiper. Find the slit. Newbie. Hey, this one's not even <laughs> reach. All right. Someone's wanting to mess with it. All right. Watch that little arm under there. All right, we got that out of the way. Now we got to take this one out, the cluster. Now we got to take this back on. This right here. So it can dangle on the other side. We're daredevils. Oh yeah. I'm so scared of that little thing. We're getting to it. We might have to uh, unhook the uh, speedometer cable. I don't remember. Been so long. 
But I know some of these bulbs, one of the blinkers has got to be replaced. Yeah, speedometer cable's got it. It's one thing. All right, to get this speedometer loose, this is what you got to do. There's an arm in the back back here, and you got to press it toward the driver's side door, like so, and then pull back on it. And it slips off like so. I have a whole array of them switches here, light bulbs somewhere. It said light bulbs in this drawer. Where? Here they are over here. Now we can fix the blinker. And then we'll put it back in the drawer that says light bulbs on it. Still no blanket. Mess with it. Yeah, we got that in working. Now we're gonna see what other bulbs in here is blowed. Working on the gas hand right now. It gets a little funky sometimes. We're going to clean the three contacts on the nut that goes against the circuit board. Ribbon. See if that will help it. And the day is Thursday. We get to play on the lawnmower. Just a few minutes. They're back together. Making everything, uh, making sure that everything's working. All right. Before we go screw happy here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Put it all back together and it won't work. Yeah, done that. Still getting it. It's getting there. That's very important on that blinker right there. Nobody would have ever figured that out. They'd be calling AutoZone, Advance, yeah. asking 398 employees, how do you fix this? Yeah. And then they tell you to run the master disk. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> There you go. Screws. Three of them. Yeah, that's flat right there. That's flat up there. Hard to tell. Got one flat side on it. You can see the flat side on the metal. Yes, but when you put it in the air, it's a little bit harder. 
and it goes crooked. Flat side is right here. Mm -hmm. Turn this flat side that way. What do you think I've been doing? I don't know. I was wondering. Navy. Goes and ain't goes crooked. There you go. Uh oh. That's good. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, let me do that collar. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You got to hook up a... Uh, Tejas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Tejas got to go back on. This is the correct way to work on that vehicle, Dougie. <laughs> Take notes. Putting up tools for 30 minutes. Dog night. Hot dogging up. Then I got to get back and do the uh, cans. Probably in the dark.
Thursday afternoon. Get in here and check out this high speed internet. T1 business, unlimited. Maybe it'll load a web page. Yeah. I'll beat the other one.